Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's look at making your Safari Start page super useful. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So do you use your Safari Start page? It can be really useful but a lot of people just ignore it. If you take the time to customize it to fit your needs then it can become your default home page really. To get to your Safari Start page there are many different ways. We're going to look at some of those later. But for now just use Bookmarks Show Start Page. This takes you to it. Now you can highly customize this and it includes a lot of things that really clutter it up and kind of make it less useful. So let's customize by going here and then let's turn a bunch of this stuff off. First we're going to start off Frequently Visited. Chances are your favorites are going to be the pages you want to go to most and Frequently Visited is just going to repeat those. Now let's turn off Shared With You. Privacy Report which really doesn't have much you can take an action on. and You can always get to your Privacy Report on any web page at the top. Let's get rid of Siri Suggestions. But we're going to keep Reading List and we're going to keep iCloud Tabs. Now you can get rid of the background image if you want or you can customize that as well. That might be one of the first things you want to do is just pick a background image that kind of fits your mood. You can of course click here and then select anything that you want, any graphic that you want or simply drag and drop to select something. So for instance I'm going to drag a photo here just from my collection of photos and now this is my background. So it really could be anything that you want. So now you've really got your Start Page set up for just three things. Favorites, Reading List, and iCloud Tabs. Let's take a look at Favorites first. Now Favorites normally is your Bookmarks folder that's called Favorites. and You can see it right down here. Now Favorites is also used in the Favorites bar. You can turn that on and you can see it up here. So you're going to see the same things here as you do here. But you don't have to. If you go to Safari Preferences and then go to General you can change Favorite Shows to something else. So we can actually create something new in Bookmarks. Let's go to Bookmarks, Edit Bookmarks and let's create a new folder here and let's call this Start Page like that. And Now we can add different things into it. So for instance let's go to some different sites and then I'm just going to do Add Bookmark and I'm going to select the Start Page folder that I created. I'm going to shorten the names of things to make it a little more compact and then continue to add a bunch of different sites. So now when I look in Bookmarks I can see the Start Page has a few different things in here. But I can continue to add more by adding a folder. So let's do that. I'm going to create a new folder and it's going to be a subfolder of the Start Page folder. If not you can just drag it in. And we can do something like News. And then under there we can add some new sites. So now when I look in Bookmarks I've got Start Page, I've got some sites here and I have a folder with more sites in it. So you can continue to add more things that you commonly go to. Now when you go in Safari Preferences here and set up Favorite Shows choose that Start Page. Now Show Start Page will show these items here. It will still label it Favorites but it's going to show the things in the Start folder. Meanwhile if I turn on the Favorites bar it's still going to show the Favorites folder. Now the folders are great here because if you click on the folder it actually digs down in the folder and it's got a little Back button. So you don't need to put 60 items here in Favorites. You can just organize things in folders and subfolders and subfolders of that as well. Now you also have some very powerful features if you bring up the Context Menu which you can by Control clicking, two finger clicking on a trackpad or right clicking on a mouse. You can do that and you see you could open up in a new tab or a new window or use tab groups. You can also rename right from here. You can edit the address right from here, copy the URL or you can delete right from here. You don't have to go into Edit Bookmarks really to adjust these things. And Here's a handy tip. Say you've got a website that doesn't have one of these cool icons here and you don't just want to have this letter right there. right? You could have this entire thing littered with just first letters. A trick is that you can go in and rename and I'm going to use an emoji character as the first character because it doesn't care that it's a letter or not. It's just going to take the first character. I'm going to use Control Command Space and I'm going to choose an emoji character like that. And You can see there now that it's the first character there it will use that here instead of the letter D. 
And of course there are a ton of emoji to choose from so you can really customize this. Another cool thing you can do is use a folder like this. Let's go and say Edit Bookmarks. Uh, I'm going to in Start Page here I'm going to add a new folder. I'm going to call this Research. And now when I go to the Start Page I can see this Research folder here. Any page I go to that I want to add to this folder it's really easy to do. I just go in here and I bookmark Quick Command D. It's going to go to the last folder I was in so I'll just go to Research this first time and Add. But I can continue to do it like that. You can see it remembers Research. So Quick Command D and Add or Return. And now I've got this Research folder started right here. I can go in and see the different pages I've added and it's easy to Control click and then delete anything from here as I go through things. I could also rearrange these so I can drag and drop. This works inside of folders and here at the main level as well. So it's easy to rearrange without having to go into the Edit Bookmarks screen. Now the second section here, Reading List, is super useful in that you can add things here that are only temporary. So the idea is favorites are permanent or semi-permanent in the case of a folder like this. But Reading List is just temporary. An article you want to get back to soon. You don't have time right now. And the idea is you get back to it, you read it, and you're done with it. So you have Reading List of course is a sidebar here but it can be handy to access it right here from the Start page. To add something to the reading list let's go into a page like this. All you need to do is just add to reading list. Shift Command D. It adds it in. Now you'll find it on the Start page right there. And you have control with the context menu as before to be able to remove the item. Note you're only going to see the nine top reading list items here but you can click here to expand it. And if your reading list is empty you're not going to see this at all. Now the last section here is the iCloud Tabs section. So this allows you to see the tabs of your other devices. In this case I've got a MacBook Pro and there are two tabs open in Safari there. I've got an iPhone. There's two tabs open there. So if you're looking at something on the iPhone and then later on your Mac and you just want to jump right to that, you know you've got that tab open on your iPhone, you can use this section to jump to it. It's super handy. Plus you can also control your other devices from here. If you Control click on this you can close the tab. It won't only get rid of it here but that actually closes the tab on your other device. That's a really handy way to clean up say all the tabs you have open on your iPhone. You can do it on your Mac. So now all we have left is how to get to this Start page easily. So the one thing you're going to want to do is go to Preferences and then General and set New Windows Open With Start Page and New Tabs Open With Start Page. So anytime you create a new tab like this it goes to the Start Page instead of a blank page or a specific home page. Anytime you open a new window it goes to the Start Page. So it kind of really becomes your home page here. Although you can't actually set your home page to the Start Page. Which is fine. You never actually need to use the Home Page functionality. Now of course you've got this menu item here Show Start Page but there's no keyboard shortcut for it unfortunately. You can change that by going to System Preferences and then Keyboard and then Shortcuts, App Shortcuts. Click Plus. Instead of All Applications let's just do Safari here. And we have to type the exact menu item. So Show Start Page and then a keyboard shortcut. Shift Command H is Home so let's do Option Command H. And now in Safari I can be somewhere else and you can see here there's the keyboard shortcut. So I can just use the keyboard shortcut like that. Now there are also two ways to get a button at the top for the Start page. One is just by simply turning on the Favorites bar. Then you have this button here that goes to the Start page. So I can click that and it goes there to the Start page. But let's say you don't want to have the Favorites bar. Then there's no button. You can add one by going to View, Customize Toolbar, Drag the Start Page button up here. You may also want to drag iCloud Tabs there for easy access to that. And now I can get to the Start Page with a button in any situation. There's actually another way to get to the Start Page. It's by clicking here in the address bar. But it won't work here because we're already at the Start Page. But if we go to another page like this and I click here I get a mini version of the Start Page with all of the items I've set up. So there's Favorites, Reading List, and iCloud Tabs. I can even dive down into a subfolder like that. But I can't Control click on things to bring up the context menu. 
You don't have that ability here. So it's kind of a quick access way to get to something in the Start page. So if you're here you don't need to go to the Start page in any way or open up a new tab. You can simply click there and then you can get to anything that's already on your Start page. And of course this works across all of your devices. If you go to the Start page and click here you'll see this option Use Start Page on All Devices. And this way this Start Page is the same Start Page you'll see on your other Macs, your iPad, and your iPhone as well. Anything you add to this Favorites area will be added to the other Start Pages and even any way that you customize the Start Page that will also appear on all your other devices. So you can maintain it anywhere you want and use it anywhere you want. So I hope you found this all useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the Thumbs Up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the Subscribe button so you don't miss out.